question has been raised a number of times. What does University of St. Gallen do in respect to sustainability, responsibility, impact investing? And I'm glad that you could find out that we don't provide just the Merrill Lynch directors, but that people like Tobias Reichmuth and Martin Rohner graduated from this institution as well. So we are a pretty big university and we produce all kinds of students. And I think the spirit of these students is also changing. I mean, they're not detached from reality. They're not detached from what happened with the financial crisis and investment banking is not that sexy anymore. So there are considerable changes taking place. And we try to take care of these or to respond to them. Uh, and I've been doing I'm a professor of sustainability management. You may have realized there's no professor of finance here, which is interesting. Um, so I'm part of the choir too, naturally. Uh, I'm one of the preachers that preaches to the choir. Um, but we started to manage responsibility and sustainability, I think, fairly professionally, if I may say that, by firstly developing a policy statement as a kind of a framework where you see, and for me, integration is a key word that I want to stress in these few minutes that I uh, have with you. Uh, and we try to integrate these issues of responsibility and sustainability in all our regular activities. So, and that is crucial. It's not a specific task, it's not a specific function, but it's, we're trying to integrate it into the regular activities. And we use a kind of framework for this where we distinguish between these areas of action, teaching, student engagement, executive education, campus activities, public engagement, research, and the management of these. And we differentiate stakeholders that are interested, that influence these activities. Let me provide you an over the overview of what we do in these areas of, acti of activities in a few minutes. Let me start out with teaching. We've had, always I guess, but since the Bologna reforms have been passed in a very formal way, contextual studies where all students had to take courses outside of their main areas and, and uh, take ex contextual studies in the areas of critical thinking, cultural awareness, and leadership skills. We looked at all the courses that we do offer, and we came up with about 100 courses offered in the field of responsibility and sustainability, mainly in these contextual studies. Uh, and we found out that about 50% of all our graduates have taken at least one of these courses in the course of their studies. It's not bad. But it's not really what we, what we are looking for. Uh, the goal is really to reach all students through integrating these issues into the core programs. We've talked about integration. You heard this before. And that is the crucial issue that we are currently fighting for and fighting with. Uh, because we have this central flagship programs, these are all master programs that we offer, where we want and we are in the process of integrating responsibility and sustainability into these core programs. We have very innovative individual courses, but there are only a few, and most of the courses still are very traditional lecturing. And that will not be sufficient in the future because we heard this a few minutes ago. It's not just a question of contents, but a question of methods as well. We will have to change the methods and engage the students to a much higher extent, to a much stronger extent, into the issues, personal engagement, than just knowledge dissemination. It cannot be done on a purely cognitive level. We have fantastic students. Some of the students are organizing this conference, and this is not the only conference. Oikos, fabulous organization. They meanwhile, Oikos International, have 40 local chapters in 20 different countries, very entrepreneurial. But Oikos is not the only student organization. We have about we have close to 100 student organizations. 
In the sustainability field, these are probably the most active ones. Uh, some of them are organizing this conference. You heard Dorina Thies. We have the Social Entrepreneurship Hub uh, started in 2013 because we felt that the students were very interested in this topic and became more and more interested in social entrepreneurship and not, in, not just in regular entrepreneurship. Executive education. We do have specialized executive education courses for a number of years, not very many, but a number of years. But what is even more interesting and more important is that we have just started to integrate these issues into the regular executive education programs. So responsibility and sustainability has been integrated into the international executive MBA and into the part-time MBA. And that is really the crucial issue because we want to be mainstream, if you Research, we have had a number of institutes for a number of years that are specialized in, in sustainability research. Business ethics, economy and environment, that's my institute, our institute, leadership and values, disability and integration. That's where quite a number of professors and junior faculty sits that do research in the responsibility and sustainability field. We have dedicated chairs, but these are the specialized areas, clearly. And recently, we, we got a Swiss center of competence in energy research with a focus on renewable energies. So that is another very interesting development. Public engagement is as important as teaching to the inside. Uh, we have tons of conferences like these, uh, Oikos conferences, social entrepreneurship, impact careers, impact investment, responsible leadership, but we have communication tools as well. Campus management, that's operations. Here we started a few years ago, pushed by Oikos, who did the first CO2 footprint study of the university as a whole, presented it to the rectorate, to the presidency, and said, now you do something. And the university established a CO2 management function and has been managing CO2 during these past years in a very systematic way. There are more topics coming now. Uh, water certainly is one of the next issues. We tried to work with the Mensa to integrate more vegetarian food. Uh, these are some of the issues. On the management side, uh, this is my current position. I was asked to take this position when I left the rectorate, the vice presidency, uh, to coordinate these activities across the university. Uh, we have the policy statement. We report regularly on responsibility and sustainability. If you're interested, I brought a couple of these reports. They're outside. If not, you can find them online to give you an overview of what we do. And we are engaged internationally in a number of those networks that we need to collaborate with. If you're interested in what St. Gallen is doing, we got a, a web page, a sustain responsibility and sustainability portal, where we have all this information centralized. We have a full report. The most recent one is the 2014 one. And probably the biggest and most active student organization is OICOS, with tons of activities and tons of engagements. So if you're interested, please have a look. Thank you very much.